what I find is the lack of consistency when using advantage. You can be calling advantage obstruction in the, in the centre third, advantage contact in the um, goal third, and you get to the circle and somebody goes offside and they pull it up. Yeah. You so know, the flow, the so concept of the flow is not there. That's right. All that is is about what have I noticed and when I noticed it, was there a speed in evaluating for what purpose should I be calling this rule, mm. in which way? Mm. Exactly. And exactly. that is a lack of, that's a lack of awareness too. And it's also a lack of understanding the game, not following how skilled they are, not following And, you know, I was about to say, and that is the difference between an umpire... Um, effectively give, giving the players a better game. Absolutely. Be, and that's what we do. You Absolutely. know, when you and I work together within the first two minutes, you we are fully we are fully aware of what this game could mm. be, the mm. potential of how mm. we then move them. Yes. And obviously we we work very quickly to work out who are the biomechanically talented and not so talented, mm -hmm. the difference, where we would look and when, yes. the passing abilities and then the control. Once yes. they sense we're in full control and on top of that game, yes. and then we let it expand mm. and only when we see bad temperament or something that goes swinging into the discipline do we act swiftly. Yes. But there is the awareness and the committed awareness mm. that stays on all night from mm. six twenty to ten twenty. That's right. You it's know, got to be there continuously. And, and you know, I'd have to then say remind every trainee umpire that's moved it's quite successfully into mm. full control, which mm. is a great step. Yeah. To then say, now take a proper look at your work. That's right. And because you're not there yet. Yeah. And also, and I think sometimes that they think because I've got control, because I can. Um, add discipline rules and because I, you know, they respond to me and because I do a little bit of a talk at half time and they all listen to me, um, where do I go to from there? Mm. They're quite satisfied at that level. Yes. But that's not what an umpire is. No. An umpire is developing the whole Game. time yes. that they're umpiring. That's right. And that can be years. Yes, that's right. Yes. And it's also being able to adapt to which venue, which night, who's on my court. That's right. And you can assess that. So mm. um, if you, if just for the ones that are, these are only for the Melbourne netball, yeah. you know, people here, yeah. but what would you say to them? What do you want to see them do in any what time frame? In less than three months? I would say in less than three months, they all need to update their advantage rule call. They all need to be consistent with it. The same as you're consistent with your you know, minor calls or your obstruction call, you have to be consistent not only with yourself but with the other umpire too. Yes. So if you've got a difference, you need to talk about that between mm. the two of you. Why mm. am I calling advantage on my end so much, letting them play because they've got the skill and you're blowing a whistle yeah. down the other end when you should be using an advantage call too. In yeah. other words, you should be doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. 